Okay, we have this uh, triangle, and we're asked to find the vector from C to the midpoint M of side AB. So here's AB. It goes from 410 to 430. And so the midpoint, uh, we can do it mentally, or we can just work out the calculation, but the midpoint would be, we take the x's and add them up and divide by 2. Take the y's, add them up, divide by 2. And take the z's, add them up, and divide by 2. Of course, the z-coordinate of the midpoint would be uh, 0. The x-coordinate of the midpoint would be 4. And the y coordinate of the midpoint would be 2. Basically, that would be our midpoint, 4, 2, 0. Okay, great. That's the midpoint of AB. Now we want the vector from C, coordinates 1, 1, 3, to M, from C to M, from C to M. What we do with that is we subtract um, the M is the terminal. Uh, let's call this M. Uh, this is the terminal of that vector. And this is the initial. So when we go to find a vector from one point to another, sorry, uh, when we go to find a vector from one point to another, all we need to do is subtract the terminal component uh, components from the from the initial components and so we're going to have 4 minus 1 and, and and 2 minus 1 and 0 minus 3 and so that vector that they're asking for in A is 3 1 negative 3 Okay, now, continuing on, in part B, they say, well, find the vector from C to the point that lies two-thirds of the way from C to M. On that median, CM, there's a median that connects C to M, and we want to find the point that is two-thirds along the way. They, uh, they marked it off. Let me just, uh, switch over here. And so they marked it off as right about here. It's called the center of mass. We'll talk about that in the last part. So, um, so we have this vector here, which is the vector from C to M and it had a certain magnitude, we want a vector pointing in the same direction but with a different magnitude. We want the vector pointing in the same direction but two-thirds as long, two-thirds the magnitude. Okay, so we simply just scale the vector, we scale CM by two-thirds. We're going to multiply by two-thirds. Our answer would be two thirds of that vector, three, one, negative three, and so we end up with the vector two. When we scale, we multiply each component by that number, um, two thirds and negative two. That would be the answer to part B. So we have the answer part A, the answer part B. The answer part A is here. Great. The answer part B is here. Great. Now, part C is the one that gives most people trouble. Part C says the following. Okay, so, so now um, there's a point. I, I want the coordinates of that point, basically. Uh, the idea is that the center of mass will be the intersection between um, the, the medians and it would be two-thirds along the way uh, of each one. And so, 
basically we have this. We have a point, um, 1, 1, 3, and a mystery point, x, y, z. And we know the vector that goes from C to that, to that mystery point is 2, 2 thirds, and negative 2. And so we want to find x, y, and z. Remember how we did it. We take the initial um, and, and, and we, we take the terminal and we subtract the initial. So, so x minus 1 and y minus 1 and z minus 3 should be equal to that vector. 2, 2 thirds and negative 2. And so that tells us then uh, what we need to do. Uh, x minus 1 is 2. So x is 3. y minus 1 is 2 thirds. So y is uh, 1 plus 2 thirds. So let's go ahead and call it uh, 5 thirds. And then finally uh, z minus 3 is a negative 2. So 3 uh, plus a negative 2. Um, we'll and add that 3 over. And then z must then be a positive 1. So that point is uh, 3 5 thirds and 1. It's the center of mass for your, uh, for your triangle. It's where the medians all intersect.